everyone. This is Connie with Constantly Stamping. Today I'm really excited to show you this fun card. This technique that I use on this card is called Burnished Glitter. And you just really can't appreciate it unless you see it in person. But I was hoping if I showed it to you on a video, you would at least get an idea. It's not your typical uh, glittery card. It doesn't really rub off much um, when you're finished. So it's a, if you've got somebody who wants, um, you want to send a glitter card to, but you don't want the mess, for them, now you're going you're to have a mess when we make this, but it's going to be a fun mess. So let's get started and I'll show you what to do. Okay, the first thing that you're going to need are some of the multi-purpose adhesive sheets. And you can find those on page 174 of the annual catalog. So um, what I do is I cut down my sheets so that it covers the front of uh, a die. And then I use, um, I don't know if you can see this or not, let me turn it over. I use the leaf die and I just actually cut the shapes directly out of the adhesive. And then I have all the. What we need to do is I've stamped the back of um, the background with wood grain stamp, and I have used Versamark ink, and I used a heat tool to dry it and make sure it was really good and dry. And if you're not really certain, um, you're not really certain whether or not you've got it dry or not, you can use like a embossing buddy just to go over it so that you're glitter won't stick where it shouldn't. The next thing you want to do is take your sheet, uh, little pieces, and arrange them. And I peel, off, this is the part that I peel off first, the black one with the black lettering. So I lay them out face down so that um, I know exactly where I want things. And this take a minute or two to just figure out where you want your designs. Make sure some of them go off the edge and you just get everything arranged the way you want it. And let me do that really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got things arranged pretty much where I want them. Now one thing I want to point out is, you know, you, right here and right here you have some excess a little bit here. What I would do is just trim off that before, you, you know, you kind of know where you want it. Maybe make a pencil mark and then trim that part off and then I can take this piece and I can put it right here and I can take this piece and I can put it somewhere else or use it on a different project. So that's the way to maximize the amount of um, use that you're getting out of your, your adhesive sheets. So I'm going to um, carefully slide this away. I, I just basically know where I want things and I'm sliding that off. I usually start either in the corner and do my biggest piece first. So I've just went ahead and snipped that off just so that I don't waste a lot. Okay. Now this is kind of the tricky part. If you, you have to carefully get this started and I know you don't want to actually touch the sticky if you can help it. So I try to grab some place and then that piece comes right off. Then you just carefully lay this down where you want it. Okay, and then you just rub that down. And then I'm going to carefully well carefully peel away this backing and try not to touch if you tear a piece it's okay because you can just grab another okay so now I have I have my adhesive I don't know if you can see that or not and all these little rough pieces that actually adds a little bit of character I think to the finished card so I'm not going to worry about those too much next I just pour my glitter on be fairly generous but you don't have to be ridiculous and then just tap that off get as much off as you can uh, before you start okay so I don't have too much left over and there is just with glitter but let me show you the difference I don't know if you can see that see how this looks kind of rough and this looks really smooth so we're going to work on this let me get my glitter back in my container and then I'll show you what to do next. I almost forgot to tell you that I am using the new Stampin' Glitter by Stampin' Up um, that's in the Holiday Mini Catalog 
and this is the black and the orange. We're going to be using the orange today. And I'm pretty sure that it needs to be um, the ultrafine glitter for this technique. I don't think that other types of glitter will work with this technique. I'm not positive, but pretty sure. Okay, now I have tapped off my excess glitter. And because I use the embossing buddy and that helped a lot to keep a lot of the strays down. So what we're going to do is we're just going to first I like to just press into the glitter make sure it's got good coverage and then I just start slightly I lightly rub it moving around and let me show you you can see as it starts to change you don't have to be real forceful with it it'll eventually um, flatten out and you can see the difference as you can see right now it's flattening out right here in this section and what you're doing is you're flattening the glitter and so you don't have all those multi facets um, like you do here they're flattening down and it makes it a very smooth looking almost like a foil look to it so you just keep rubbing until you get things the way you want it You can see it change. It's almost like magic. This is really a fun card, even though it is a little messy. I will acknowledge that, but it's a fun messy. So, just have fun with it. It's pretty much a wow card every way you look at it. It's a wow to make it, and it's a wow to give it. You might want to change fingers if that one... It, if you're not really rough, it won't really hurt your fingers, but sensitive and might bother it a little bit. So just kind of change it up. Don't rub too long with one finger in one spot. So I'm just going to wipe some of that away. And then put some of that back in the container, and then I'll be right back to show you what to do next. Okay, so as you do this technique, I, I really think what's happening is, is you're building up a little bit of a static electricity charge. So um, it's really hard to get this to go anywhere. It just wants to cling to everything that it touches. So what I use are some, these are dry dusting cloths. I'm not sure if you can see that. And they go in the floor things. And I just bought a really cheap package of it. And that helps a little to get glitter off of everything and of course you would do your whole card but I'm just going to show you this one section for time's sake it's actually kind of pretty just just one little piece down there but okay so for the most part that's going to get away a lot of your glitter but that's still not going to do it all so let's kind of clean this up and then if you're still see how much is on here if you're still having problems, then um, I like to take just a really inexpensive uh, one of these sticky lint rollers and just roll it on the hands. You will get glitter on your hands and on your clothes and on your table. And if you're really careful, if you've rubbed, if you've gotten some of the sticky off, you, you can actually run this over your card front and pick up any stray glitter which is really kind of awesome that way you don't have just those little pieces of glitter that are annoying when you get a card okay so see now that's basically glitter free because I rub my finger over this I don't really get any glitter off on my hands because it's all burnished down into that adhesive so what I would do I will finish the card and then if you really want to be extra sure that you're not going to get glitter on anything um, you could take some hairspray or something like that aerosol and or a spray fixative and spray over that lightly just to kind of make sure that everything stays in place. The next thing that I did on this card is I added a strip of the burlap ribbon and I did not want the stitched edges to show 
but I was afraid it would ravel. So what I did before I actually um, even, I pulled out the stitching and then I've already put my sticky strip on the back to adhere it to the card so that way it will stop unraveling right there where the sticky strip is. So that's just a little uh, tip. And then you would just apply that to your card and then trim away the excess. And then the other thing I wanted to show you on this card is this button. Is These are actually two buttons. This is the Naturals button and this is a Bright's Pumpkin Pie button. And I just would line up the holes and attach those with a couple of mini glue dots right there. And then I, I stitched it onto the card front. And you know, I wrapped the linen thread around and everything. And then I took the entire front and I attached it to a card base so that I could hide all of my details. There's nothing showing on the inside of the card. So that's basically how you make this card. Now let me show you, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but there's another way that you can do this technique. And it is I actually put the multi-purpose adhesive sheet on a piece of cardstock and die cut it and then I just did the pieces and so this way is I think it's a little easier but then let me show you if you lay this on the card this looks more like it's um, attached or embossed laying on top of the card whereas this is flat and there's a ridge here so just a little difference there but it, they're both very beautiful and this is um, if these little places that um, where the adhesive doesn't stick bother you, this is a little bit um, cleaner way to do it. And then you can just kind of lay things out and figure out where you want things. But I like the look of the burnished on the actual card, um, but they're both nice. So just, just know that whatever way you do it um, is going to look beautiful because it's just a really beautiful technique. And I hope you enjoyed this technique, and I'd like to see, if you do something, post it on your blog and send me a link. I'd love to see what you create with this technique. So thanks. Have a great day.